with more people graduating every year employers have a huge choice when it comes to selecting the most highly skilled and qualified candidates therefore it's crucial that your application emphasizes the skills and knowledge that can give you the edge over others to do so you need to know what specific skills employers are looking for and how you can demonstrate your ability in these areas through your cv application form or interview certain sectors require specific skills of course but there are some competencies that have value for almost all employers irrespective of the industry we have listed in no particular word what we think are the 10 key skills you should be looking to demonstrate first and foremost so let's talk about the top 10 skills graduate need to land a job the first one is teamwork most graduates will have the opportunity to work in a team at some point during their studies perhaps as part of an academic group or in a business while on placement employers will be looking for evidence that you can work collaboratively toward a shared outcome and pool resources and knowledge to achieve something strong team working ability which you will need to demonstrate includes the capacity to cooperate reach conclusions and work within a multidisciplinary team in the digital age many teams are now project led making team work even more important effective team work involves demonstrating confidence in group work without taking over sharing responsibility being firm yet fair learning from others and giving and receiving constructive feedback second would be problem solving solving problems is a feature of everyday life from the straight forward to the more complex example problems that you may have faced as a student include crafting strong arguments for academic essays dealing with a problematic customer when volunteering or doing work experience or managing personal finances from term to term any job will present its own problems at some stage so employers will therefore use your application to determine how your approach difficulties and the solutions that you devise be prepared to give concrete examples think of problems you have faced as a student and apply those to your work situation number 3 business acumen business acumen or commercial awareness is the ability to demonstrate an understanding of your working environment and the wider industry in which a business functions this will include customers competitors and suppliers although graduates are not expected to have an in-depth understanding of how a company's industry operates you should have a fundamental grasp of the markets in which your business operates the structure of the business and its vision values and structure candidates need to understand the importance of working efficiently and cost effectively while ensuring that excellent standards of customer and service delivery are maintained number 4 ability to plan and organize planning is crucial to many businesses from developing a strategy and delivering a key project through to creating a plan to implement new working practices graduates should be able to demonstrate what they can plan and follow through there are some distinct steps to create a strong plan of action which includes identification of objectives definition of objectives which are both measurable and achievable effectively prioritizing tasks outlining steps to reach the goals working efficiently and effectively under pressure as needed to meet any deadlines developing a contingency plan for unforeseen situation number 5 decision making within any work environment decision making skills are crucial in a number of situations whether the role is customer facing or back office decisions have to be made when making decisions it's important that you follow the right process before you reach a conclusion for example what is the nature of the issue why does the decision need to be made what outcome does the decision need to achieve what are the main priorities of the decision 
the next step in decision making is to research and evaluate the evidence in a methodical way in the workplace this would include reviewing customer feedback evaluating financial information or analyzing performance metrics you need to carefully review the relevant facts so that you reach the right decision once you have defined the issue and evaluated the data you will then need to deploy your creativity to identify the most suitable solution for the problem the solution that you find might be identified through brainstorming developing new systems or processes or collaborating with colleagues employers will look for evidence that you can complete each of these steps either through an assessment activity or interview question number 6 communication skills they are some of the most basic skills that you can possess employers will look favorably on graduate applicants who can communicate well in a number of different situations both verbally and non verbally in particular they will review your application and assess you during the recruitment process on the following your ability to listen carefully process information and interpret what you have been told to carry out a specific task how you follow verbal and written instructions the way in which you communicate effectively in a challenging or difficult situation assessing the situation and using the most suitable method of communication using business jargon in the right context how you present information to others whether via a presentation or simply the way in which you answer questions the methods you use to present written information clearly and concisely development of a logical argument another aspect to communication skills that employers may look for is interpersonal skills which will be used to build relationship and interact with colleagues customers or stakeholders during work you will encounter a number of different people at different levels of seniority and from different departments as such you need to be able to network gain the understanding and build rapport with these individuals furthermore interpersonal skills cover a range of different behaviors and expectations including collaborative working your capacity to participate effectively and work with others in an organized and positive manner working alone if working alone you should be able to demonstrate your ability to take the initiative be proactive and remain motivated and resilient while managing your own time effectively to ensure that the required tasks are completed and to a high standard responsiveness your capacity to respond to changing work environments and situations and adapting your communications and ways of working to suit analysis of situations people and tasks since employers will expect that you evaluate the situation before you begin any work or reach any decision constructive criticism employers seek out graduates who are able to take constructive criticism and use this in a positive way to enhance their skills knowledge and experience assertiveness and confidence are key aspects to good communication too number 7 assertiveness and influence assertiveness is perhaps one of the hardest skills that you will need to acquire during your career essentially it means that you should be able to convey what you are saying confidently while standing up for the rights of yourself or others in a calm and positive manner assertive people have a natural aptitude for conveying their point strongly without appearing to be intimidating or causing upset for themselves or others difficult situation in the workplace are inevitable whether it is a challenging customer or a troublesome project so it's important that you can take control without taking over effective influencing involves addressing the needs to the other person so listening carefully to what they are saying and find out about their interests and expectations arguing the case with logic conduct thorough research and make sure that the claims you make can be verified language avoid any hesitant language because people are less likely to have confidence in what you are saying 
also try to use positive language if you can avoiding blocker words like but influencing and negotiation skills are vital in certain industries such as law marketing or sales among others negotiation properly involves understanding the situation in detail clarifying issues identifying areas of common ground and remaining calm to reach a solution that is mutually agreeable by all parties number 8 digital skills there is currently a significant shortage in digital skills consequently you will certainly stand out to employers if you possess digital skills that are in demand digital skills can include web design programming cyber security affiliate marketing seo sem crm platform management and online customer service there could be more to digital skills for example machine learning artificial intelligence internet of things and coding so such skills are in demand across in the most industries number 9th technical knowledge of the role in certain industries such as science medicine or it graduates will be expected to possess a degree of technical knowledge as a prerequisite to securing employment this may be a skill such as programming or scientific analysis for example graduates will have more chances of success if they can apply their knowledge within the workplace up to date technical and product knowledge among its staff will allow a business to be more receptive to change and more likely to deliver innovation customers frequently judge a company based on the knowledge that staff demonstrate to them number 10th and the last one is ability to synthesize information one of the other skills that employers look for is a graduate's ability to source collate and analyze information from qualitative and quantitative sources being methodical and detail oriented are skills that are in demand so too is the capacity to collect and analyze data to reach conclusions make suggestions or issue recommendation to move the business forward candidates will excel if they can demonstrate an ability to identify evaluate and purpose key solutions that solve common business problems particularly if they achieve cost savings or increase efficiency this list of graduate skills is by no means exhaustive there are many more skills that graduate employers look for others than those outlined above but these are the main areas that employers often focus on as a graduate you may think that you have very little work experience to demonstrate these skills but there will have been scenarios where you have used them think about your university life and extracurricular activities or voluntary work record the skills that you have learned each term throughout university and attend any employability skills training provided by your university or not the most important thing to remember is to complete the necessary research before you start applying for jobs this will help you identify which skills are important for a particular organization that you would like to join so you can customize each cv or application form to differentiate yours from those of other candidates so best best wishes for you all thank you